one little habit that if you're doing this and you change it, I think it'll improve your mornings and it'll improve your day. And the reason I say this and the reason I know this is because I used to be guilty of it myself. And when I stopped doing this, my mornings improved so much, my days improved, and it's such a simple, easy little thing. Let me give you an analogy to tell you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about starting your engine, uh, your most important engine. So let's say you're going to go for a ride with your friend, and they've got an old car that doesn't start up super easily. So the two of you pile into his car, he hits the ignition, the engine grinds and butters for a moment and then starts up. And as soon as the engine starts, he shuts the ignition off and kills it. And says, I just have to wait a minute. Just, just hold on. Okay. And then he starts the engine again. And as soon as it starts up and starts idling, he quickly shuts it right off and says, yeah, another time or two I'm going to be ready. Just, just hold on. And he does this three or four times before he finally just lets the engine run and you guys take off. I would turn to him and say, what are you doing? It's like, well, you know, this thing is pretty cold first thing in the morning and I have to give it a few starts in order to get it really up and running and ready to work. My reaction to that would be, I don't think that's a very good idea. Starting your engine four or five times every time you go to start it, that's just going to wear things out. Let the thing run and warm up. I'm a night owl. I've always been a night owl. Come around midnight, I'm creative. I'm popping. I'm getting things done. It's That's my time. And when I have to go to bed, I often will lay there thinking about all kinds of stuff, staring at the ceiling. It's hard for me to get to sleep. But when the dawn comes and it's time to get up, I feel wrecked. It's not my favorite time. It always takes me a long time to get moving in the morning. And no, don't don't be telling me that it's just a matter of the cycles that uh, I've become accustomed to. If I got to bed earlier and got a good night's sleep, the morning wouldn't be... No, nah, that's not true. That's not true. I'm just wired as a night person. I could go to bed real early and get 11 hours of sleep and I still feel like trash in the morning. That's just the way I am. I know there's a lot of people who, when the sun comes up, they're up and, hey, it's going to be a great day. Let's get moving. But that's not me and it's never been me. When I was very young, my first job and a little less responsible, one day I come into work and I'm a little bit late. Boss comes by and says, hey, Barry, you okay? You're late. And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I just over overslept a little bit. And he's like, well, you know the start time around here. You know what's expected. So uh, be on time, okay? Okay. Well, next week or two, I do it again. I wander in a little bit late. And he comes by. He's not quite as happy this time. Saying, hey, Barry, you're late. Now listen, you're a good guy. I hate to lose you over something stupid like this. So, uh, you know when you're expected to be here. So figure it out. You know, get it together. Okay. A little bit later on that day, he comes by. Bit of a grin on his face. He goes, hey, Barry, got something for you. Got you a gift. I'm like, really? He drops a box in front of me. And he says... It's an alarm clock, okay? Use it. I took the alarm clock and I figured I got to be up about 6.30, so I'm going to set my alarm for 6. And that way I have enough time to mm, hit that big snooze button on the top a couple of times to uh, ease myself into the morning. Yeah. The mornings suck for me. And so the first few hours of the morning till about lunchtime, I'm just dragging myself through my work going, oh, yeah, get, get going here. 
it was pretty rough. But, you know, by afternoon, I'm now starting to get in the groove and it's all good. And, and that evening, you know, I'm happening, but uh, yeah, that's, that's my life. But I had an episode or two where I would hit the snooze button and my body, instead of thinking snooze, thought sleep. And uh, I went a little bit long on the time. It wasn't so good. I thought, I can't do this. I, I just can't do this. I, I got to change my behavior here. If I got to be up at 630, I'm going to set the alarm for 630. And that way I know that when that alarm goes off, I don't have the time to waste. I don't have the time to sit here and mess around. I got to get up and get moving. And so I took away that excuse of wasting time. And so the alarm would kick off at 6.30, and I'd hear that and think, i got to get out of bed. If I don't get out of bed now, I'm going to be late. So I would immediately shake myself, go hop in the shower real quick, and get on to work. Those mornings sucked. But they didn't suck as bad as the prior mornings. I found when I did that, well, maybe the first 45 minutes of it, the first hour I was trying to... Uh, kind of get myself going, but it wasn't like till noon like it normally was. When I responded immediately to that alarm and got it on, I got into my wake state a whole lot more rapidly than when I was smacking the old snooze button. And my days were better, much better. And it makes sense because when your body transitions from wake to sleep it's expecting to do a cycle and so when you're awake and you go to sleep your body wants to do a proper sleep cycle which is at least 90 minutes and so if you let your body go to sleep and then you immediately jar yourself awake that's just like starting and stopping your car engine it's brutal on the hardware and it really throws off your internal rhythms and messes up your whole morning. The moral of this is, I know the alarm clock has a big giant button on it saying snooze. And they promote this as a feature that, you know, use the snooze. But no, don't use the snooze. It's not going to help you out. Set the alarm for the time that you need to respond and respond. And in the larger picture... It also applies. When you have an inspiration, you've got a time window of a few seconds to respond. And if you don't respond within those first few seconds when you're inspired, well, then the brain starts churning and you start creating all kinds of excuses and reasons why you shouldn't take action. And you don't take action. And the accomplishments in your life are the result of taking action. When the alarm goes off, get up and do it. And avoid the snooze button, because the snooze button is just taking so much positive energy out of your life. That's my advice. That's my experience. I hope it resonates with you. And if you haven't tried it, I encourage you to try it. Set the alarm for when you have to get up. No excuses. Get up, get it on, and do it.